All right, we have decided that we're going to go ahead and do a little bit of a walkthrough of the classrooms here at, at Haywood Community Learning Center. Um, and Brooklyn's going to tell us a little bit about what happens in a couple of the classrooms, as well as what sets this program apart. Um, there are a couple of things that are very specific to HCLC. So we're going to let her tell us a little bit more about this. I believe we are in the social studies room. Is that right, Brooklyn? Math. Math. Oh, wrong room. Okay. The dreaded math room. <laughs> okay. So um, this is a, a normal classroom at HCLC. This is the size. So we have um, iPads that we have students work on in the center of the tables and then desktops around the perimeter. We also have laptops. Um, because of COVID, we have to be six feet apart. That means we can access the desktops around the uh, perimeter of the room and do every other seat and then we can access more on the in the center of the room with the iPads and the laptop so we're able to sit about eight to ten kids in a classroom um, and, and maintain COVID guidelines so this is the math classroom and this is kind of how it's set up and all of our classrooms are this exact size so nice. they are pretty large it's nice to have a big classroom um, but all of our students um, are on their computer and they're on our software called Edgenuity. So they have headphones in, they listen to their music, whatever motivates them um, that's not distracting to other people. So they have to have it a good volume. Uh, but they have their headphones in and you could be sitting here and be in ninth grade math and then you could be sitting here and be in senior level math. So math one, math four, different levels, completely different. Um, and then you have all different math levels. And so our teachers come around and they facilitate one-on-one -on -one as you get stuck on a lesson. Um, and that's really where they get to, to have that intimate relationship with students where they can just walk them through one question or one lesson at a time to get them done. So does that mean that you have uh, several grades in a classroom at the same time then? Is, am I understanding that right? Okay. 12th grade math and, all in this classroom. Okay, got it. Yes. And we'll go and look at the social studies classroom next and this is um all the stuff we've made in the paper all of the cool stuff that we've done over the past our graduated classes in the past um, and there's a lot more throughout our halls that we just highlight what we do throughout the year So this is the social studies classroom. Again, nice big size. It's set up a little bit different, um, and each teacher gets the, the flexibility to kind of set their classroom as, as they want. Um, sometimes she does, so she does a class, civics is part of their social studies curriculum, and so she'll do um, civics on the smart board. She'll do what's happening in the real world today. So the politics, the, the debates, she applies all to what um, they're doing what what's going on in the world and what they're doing in civics. So her classroom set up a little bit different um, and, But again, you still have the desktops and the laptops and then you also have iPads in each classroom that can come out in the center of the classroom and so HCLC just to be clear. It's the dropout recovery program um, This program is for students who has dropped out of the public high schools um, and they're coming back to get their high school diploma. So we are a regular high school diploma. We are not an alternative high school diploma. We're not an adult high school diploma. We are a normal 22 credit hour high school diploma. Our diplomas come from Central Haywood High School. That's our sister school. And so that's a pretty big thing. And that's why I think we're so unique um, is that it's not an alternative program. It doesn't stigmatize students as an alternative program. It's a regular high school diploma. And these students, they want to be here. So unlike some schools where you have students that don't want to be in school, these students come here. It was their choice to come here and finish their education. So they want to be here. Um, and so that kind of helps us and our staff kind of reach these kids because they do. They want it. They know that they need it and they value it. And so that's why they're here. Um, and another big thing that separates us from the other schools is we um, rely completely on federal grants. The Haywood County Schools supply um, teaching positions here, but most of our income for our students and our support stuff is from federal grants. And our biggest one is WIOA. Um, that stands for Workforce Innovation and Opportunities Act. Um, this grant helps students get their high school diploma and go on to what's next. So bigger and better things, I always say. Um, so if that's college, then we help facilitate college um, applications. We help facilitate Pell Grants, scholarships, financial aid. All of that, we help kind of facilitate that transition and get the student to what's next. If it's not college and it's a career, which sometimes it is, we send them to the Career Center where they build resumes. 
Um, we do paid work experiences, which is very unique um, and very beneficial for a lot of our students um, because they need money. They, they're, a lot of them are on survival mode and they're trying to get on their own and they need this money um, and they need that independence. So they go into the, to the world and they say, I'm interested in cosmetology. So I will take that student, I'll put them in WIOA grant, and I'll give them a paid work experience at a hair salon where one, they get hands-on experience. They can also build that rapport and they get to have references. If they do a good job, they get to know that employer and the employer then becomes a reference for them. And a lot of times these jobs lead to full-time jobs or a lot of times these jobs will lead to help with education. So if they need a certificate for nursing, let's say, then sometimes the employer will help pay for that um, because they really liked the student and they really want to buy into the student and have them work with their company or their nursing home or their hair salon or whatever it be. Um, so we, we run about 20 something work experiences a year and, and I hope to run more than that this year um, because right now it is definitely the world of where students need to be working and they need that money. So we do paid work experiences, um, build resumes, we also help them go out in the community and practice interviews. Um, we do role play all the time and in interviews and, and trying to build those soft skills. And I think that's the biggest thing that they get out of the work experience too, is just building those soft skills. A lot of students come to us and they've never worked. They're 16, 17 years old. They've never had a job. So it, it's hard to build that resume. And so learning those soft skills, not to have your phone, um, being on time, dressing professional, not using foul language, um, a lot of that stuff they learn in that. And, and that's something that public schools don't do because we have the federal grant, we're able to tap into some money and supportive services. We also, through this grant, help pay for gas money. We don't have transportation, we don't have school buses. Um, and so we rely on students driving here, carpooling here, um, doing Haywood Transit through Mountain Projects. Um, so our students have to pay for all of that. And so we try to help offset that by paying for Haywood Transit um, paying for gas money for the parents or friends to drive them here. That's great. Those yeah. are some. Those are some really just fantastic resources. I really like the soft skills thing too because that is, you yeah. know, uh, uh, the being on time, dressing professional, those kinds yes. of things. Those are just. Those are those are uh, skills that are much needed and not enforced Definitely. typically. Yes. Yeah, and it's yeah. hard. It's hard in this community to get jobs, especially now because people are shut down and mm -hmm. you're limited to how many people you can serve and so forth. So um, right now, even for employers, that's a plus for them because it's, yes. it's paid yes. for, by us and liabilities covered through manpower. We are connected with Pan manpower as a partner and they cover all the liability insurance and everything for our students. That's awesome. So that I'm starting is awesome. one next week in electrical. So there's, okay. a, there's a whole wide wow. range of things Very that cool. students can tap into. Very so. cool. That's exciting. Yeah. And I imagine they just get excited. It gives them something to get excited about. Yes. And That's, it also tells them, what I have found is with these students, they decide, oh, I want to be a nurse. Then they go into a nursing home and they see the knit and gritty and the mm, ugly and the bad and mm -hmm. the dirty. And they're like, oh, that is not what I thought it was. I do not want to do that. Um, and so with that, they don't waste their time. They don't waste their money going through college and realizing that's not what they want to do because you know you don't get to do that until you get that education behind you. You don't get that experience. So it kind of gives them that that kind of, I guess, that idea of this is what I thought it was or this was not yes, what I thought it was, yes. and I'm changing a direction. Yes. So, And I think that's a pretty powerful statement right there. Yes, absolutely. To know that and, and to go into something that you do love. Yeah, and that, absolutely. That is what you'll stick with. So. Yep, absolutely. Yeah. Well, nice. Some nice different things. I really I really like some of those. Yes. Yeah, and we're, yep. we're definitely a program that highlights our students' successes. So we have very intimate graduation. We celebrate, I mean, any little milestones, but big ones for sure. Graduation is a huge one that we do. We don't walk with the other schools. We do our own, and we make it very special and very nice. intimate for the parents and the students. Nice. So Nice. Yeah. Yep. Well, great. Thank you, Brooklyn. Yes, thank, thank you. I appreciate the tour and the more information. Yes.